Hello everyone. Welcome to this 3D world of ArcGIS. Now we are going to learn ArcScene. By using this ArcScene, we can create 3D map. We can do many 3D analysis and much more related with 3D world. This is very enjoyable and interesting interface. You can play with this. I hope all of you will enjoy this. In this lecture, we will learn some basic knowledge of ArcScene interface. Same as like ArcMap. In here, we can see also table of content which contain layers. Here is a shape file and this 3D map is developed by using this shape file. When you will do ArcScene advanced course, you also will be able to create this 3D map by using shape file and its attribute tables. This interface is divided by three portion. Left side table of content, right side is 3D map view and upper side is menu bar. In this menu bar, same as like arc map, we can see file, edit, view, bookmarks, selection, geoprocessing, customize, window, help. This is the interesting tools of ArcScene. You can pan this 3D map. You can full extend this 3D map. You can pan this by using pan tool. By using identify, you can see the attribute of any feature. Click identify, then click any feature. You can see the attribute of this feature. One more interesting thing is add viewer. You can add multiple viewer of this map view. Say here is another view. I can pan this here and if I add one more view, I can pan this also here. In the same time, you can see multiple area of this map view. In here, we also can get catalog and search, same as like arc map. Here is a shortcut option to open arc catalog and arc toolbox. We can add data by using this add data button. We can open shapefile by using this open and we can save this project as .sxd file or arcscene project file. So this is the interface of arcscene. And uh, if you want to learn more advanced GIS, then enroll in our another GIS courses, including desktop GIS, web GIS, freelancing with GIS, ArcGIS, QGIS, and many more. Just see our course list to choose any one of your suitable GIS course. To enjoy GIS and uh, I hope all of you have enjoyed this course remember don't watch only the lecture also play with all of this lecture in your practical GIS work in your GIS task any kind of GIS task QGIS or ArcGIS if you face any kind of problem and don't get the solution in one way then find the another suitable way remember nothing is impossible just ways are different you need to find the suitable way of solution. Best of luck, all the best because you are the best. If my this course helps you to learn something, to apply this in your GIS work, then this will be my great achievement of my hard works. Till then, obviously, always enjoy GIS. Best of luck.